Hello, and welcome to Morfolio Trace. In this video, we'll look at how to use Smart Fill to fill and calculate areas while you sketch. And we'll look at some examples for some special Smart Fill tips. Let's get started. So the Smart Fill tool is this button that's located up here at the top. You can tap on that, and then you'll see that this little target appears. Um, and when we move it around, um, you can see that it's giving me a little area calculator here. And then there's a few features that you can use um, to, uh, to set some settings on there. Before I get started, it's really important uh, when you're using Smart Fill to calculate areas at least, that your scale is set. So we'll go up to Project Settings, we'll go to the Scale uh, category, and then we'll tap Set Scale. And here you have your crosshairs where you can move them around. And then I'm going to put in 10 meters so we can easily um, see that we should be getting somewhere around 100 meters for our total volume when we use our, our uh, Smart Fill tool. You can change here is where you can change the color that you're filling. So if we select a different color, it will offer us a different selection. Um, you can uh, tap this button to fill that area. So now you can see that if we turn off the fill, it's actually uh, giving us a solid hatch, a solid uh, swatch over the whole area, the whole region. We also see that there's this uh, X squared button, which is our little area indicator, which will, when we tap that, drop down and give us, uh, it's kind of hidden there, it gives us a, uh, a reading of the area that we have drawn right in there, which is a, a really, really helpful feature. On the left side over here is a tolerance, and this um, isn't going to be as helpful right now um, because we have a pretty solid volume, um, at least the way it's drawn, but later on when we get to examples, we'll see where that tolerance becomes a really critical feature. The amazing thing that I was mentioning is that it live updates as you draw. So let's say we draw a little curve here. You can see suddenly it's recalculating the area that is in that region specifically, um, which is a super, super helpful thing as you're drawing through a plan or something to be able to recalculate the area depending on the, the region that is selected. The other thing that we can do is if we do have these two regions, we are able to uh, calculate the area for multiple regions. As you see, as soon as you tap that multi-region feature, there is a dialog box that comes up that's giving you the total tally of the areas that you have selected. So if we move that over here, you can see now that uh, it's calculating both the large region, the 90 meter uh, square meter region, and the 10 square meter region here, um, which is just a really, really cool feature to be able to quickly calculate areas um, of different parts of your drawing as, as you're sketching and as you're working. So um, another cool feature with this is if we press and hold on this, you'll see that a copy icon is brought up. If we tap copy and then go to our text tool over on our layer toolbar, and we paste. Now you can see that it's it's giving me both of those regions that we had, um, as well as a, an area total. You can tap done, and now we can insert those area calculations right into our project, whether we want to keep them up here uh, like that, or we can have a, a total tally. So if we go back to our region, um, I'll show you one last uh, thing that I like to do, a little trick when I'm doing my, my uh, fills, is I always like to make a new layer. And what this does, it allows my 
uh, my fills to be on a separate layer than my drawing and I like to organize things like that because uh, just like I would in another program where I'm putting my hatches on another layer, I also like to keep my fills on a separate layer as well. Just a little project organization um, uh, tip there. So let's say we want to fill this region with yellow and then we'll pick a different color, maybe orange for this top region. Hit the, hit the button again and now we have our two fills on this. We have our area calculation um, that's giving us uh, the total areas down here as well as the, the area in each region. And, um, and that's it, it's, it's super easy to use. So this first drawing that we'll take a look at is a project by Sowell. Um, a really great architecture firm in New York. And um, you can see we have a plan here. And boom, we turn on our area calculator and we're getting this whole area, but we're really only trying to get this small circular region. So this is where, as I mentioned earlier, the tolerance button comes in really handy because we can set our tolerance a little bit lower and then we're just reaching the region that we want to enclose there. Um, we can see the area that it's calculating so we can uh, if we want to insert that we can tap the the area button there we can add a fill by by tapping the fill button there and uh, we can go through and find different regions and calculate different areas so let's say that we have this area though and again we want to find out what just half of this region might uh, look like if we were to put a wall somewhere like that and you can see as we update the sketch we're also updating the area calculation and the fill region on that uh, that part of the, the project. Um, yeah, so question from, from someone is asking if this is a PDF. This is, uh, in this case, I think this is an image file, but this could totally work as a PDF base as well. So you can bring in a drawing set and use the area calculator to calculate areas on top of that um, on top of that that sketch that drawing set that you have this is a drawing again a similar setup where there is um, a drawing that's been created this could have come from a pdf set um, from a drawing set construction documents whatever uh, this drawing is by family new york and you can see that it has this pretty funky shape uh, not the easiest uh, geometry to calculate an area with, but if we turn on our Smart Fill tool again, and here we can turn up our, um, our tolerance a bit, you can see that it's now covering the entire region, this really uh, strange shape, um, and we can easily calculate the area that it's around 4,600 meters squared. Um, and we can do that just by having drawn the outline of the building and uh, creating a complete closed curve and then um, using the smart fill tool on it. And again, we can fill that region, turn off, and now we have this nice yellow uh, feature. If we want to let that uh, kind of shine through, we can play with our layer blending options. In our layer actions, we can turn on paper blending so that way we can see the lines underneath it, but yet we have a nice fill um, on top of it. This one um, is a, a diagram by Sean Gallagher. And in this case, let's say that we want to change the background of the image from just the plain white into a more colorful region. So we can take our smart fill tool yet again. Here we can turn down our tolerance a little bit. Always playing with that tolerance. And let's say we want to make it a, uh, a black background or we want to make it orange to have a little fun. Turn down that tolerance a little bit more. And when we fill, you'll see that the entire outline, the, the entire boundary of the drawing has been transformed into an orange color.
Thanks for watching and be sure to check out our other how-to videos.